Shalom, Yasharala. Okay, um, I got another lesson here. It's not, it's not once again. And uh, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Father, Yahweh Shai uh, being His Son in, in the Hebrew, which you can find in the Holy Bible. Okay, <clears throat> and I want to get into a topic um, concerning, uh, you know, things that we receive. You know, uh, we receive materialistic things. And us that are in the truth, we have received the spirit and, and, and the veil has been lifted. We understand the mysteries that are in the scriptures, okay? And uh, I want to get into uh, the scriptures because, you know, when, when you're dealing with, uh, you know, uh, two-thirds, when you're dealing with uh, people who don't know they're Israel, but they're Israel, okay? Um, you know, a lot of people believe that because they go to uh, finish high school and they go to college and they got a good job, <clears throat> you know, that, that they will... The things that they have, uh, they don't know that they that it's the Most High that gives people these things. Okay, and uh, I got a couple scriptures, okay, to uh, to prove this point. So uh, first, I want to go with John, three and uh, twenty seven. It says, John answered and said, "A man can receive nothing except to be given him from from heaven." Okay, so basically meaning that uh, you can you can receive nothing unless. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gives it to you, okay? Whether that be a brand new vehicle, whether that be a better position at, at, at work, whether that be, uh, <clears throat> you know, one of your favorite things or, you know, whatever you, if you pray and you get something, hey, the Lord, look, he gave it to you, okay? So it's not us who wills things or, or we, we, we we have the power to 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 get things through what through uh, our hard work and, 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 and through our... And through our, uh, you know, through our education or things like that, it doesn't work like that. The Most High gives us all things. All right. And so I got, I got some more scriptures, you know, to prove this. And I'm gonna continue on with First Samuel two and uh, seven. It says, "The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich; He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes." So the Lord, he brings, he makes, he makes you, he can make you poor or he can make you rich. All right. He can set you up high in this thing or he can set you up low in this thing. And that's in the truth or even in the world, in material things. Okay. You, you, you can have it all one day and then one day you can have nothing. All right. And it also goes on to say that he, it also goes on, it goes on to say in the eighth verse to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth. Are, uh, are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them okay so you know he can set you up on high you know what I mean those billionaires those people that have a lot of money and stuff like that they, they don't even know where they get all that from okay even even uh, Jake at work they don't understand where they get all these things you understand what I'm saying they believe that they, they will it that they got it they did it you know what I'm saying and it doesn't work like that Okay, so let me continue. Let me go to uh, the book of Proverbs. Thirty eight and nine. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be filled and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of the Most High in vain. All right. So, you know, so in the, in the book of Proverbs, it says, you know, remove far from me vanity and, and lies. And that's basically what this world is about. This whole world is about nothing but vanity and lies. You know what I'm saying? That, um, that you go to, you go to, you go to school for, for, um, uh, set amount of years you get a good education and you become a doctor and you become a lawyer you become certain, all these certain things but you know this place this place is, is, is a lot of companies a lot of places are shutting down this place is going down okay according to the scriptures this place is about to be destroyed okay we don't know when exactly but through the scriptures the prophecy will come to pass all right so remove far from me that that prosperity doctrine that 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 um oh i'm a, i'm gonna make it Oh, I'm, I'm going to make it because I know I'm going to make it. Oh, because I'm hustling or, 
or I got a good job or, or, or you know, people say that they went to school for something years or they was in the military. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, I'm in the military. I vote. I believe in America. You know what I mean? People believe in these things, especially our people. All right. But it says remove far from me vanity and lies because that's all lies, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all lies. You know, we, I don't, we don't believe in those things, man. We don't believe in the military. We definitely don't believe in the military. Okay. Give me neither poverty nor riches. All right. Feed me with food convenient for me. The scripture says we're supposed to be happy with our daily bread. So, you know, give me food convenient for me, which is the scriptures. Because the scriptures are referred to as, as bread, as um, milk. You know what I mean? As water. Okay. So give, give me that. You know, and I'll be okay. It says, but it goes on to say, it says, lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? When you're full, you have it all. You got money, you got wealth, fame. You might have women. You might have, you know what I'm saying? Cars, clothes, and all that stuff. You know, that's full. You, you're a want. You have no, you don't, you don't need anything. You're of no want. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, unless you be full, okay, and deny thee. It goes to some people be like, Oh, they believe in the Lord at one time. They, they believe in the outside, which the world calls uh, Christ. You know what I'm saying? They believe. But, you know, since they have all these things, they set that far from them. They're like, you know what? I'm good right now. You know, thinking the gain is godliness. You know, we'll, we'll, I'm going to get into that too. All right, First Timothy, the sixth chapter, okay? You know, but uh, a lot of people believe that, you know, they got they got it made. You know what I'm saying? That it's, it's you know, it's all, it's all, it's all gracious what, 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 what they're doing. And, and they believe that because they have certain things. You know what I mean? And, and that they're full and, and they don't need anything that the Lord's dealing with them and it doesn't work like that. You know, the Lord's not dealing with those people. Those things could be given to you to just to set you up to fall. You know what I'm saying? Just to blind you. All right. So if you, it says, it says, you know, I'm going to start it up from the top. It, it says, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Okay. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of the Most High in vain. All right, you know we're not supposed to be stealing, you know. But people, you know, they're 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 full one day and the next day they're not. You know, like we read in Samuel, it says the Lord make he, he maketh rich and he maketh poor. Okay, he sets people up on thrones to, amongst princes and then, or he or he can or make you fall, he make you have nothing. Okay, so if you're full and you deny the Most High and the Lord and start stealing, you know what I'm saying? You'll know why because you know. I mean, but then, but then again, some people they don't even know why they don't understand why, you know. But the scripture says, um, roughly paraphrasing, um, you'll never see the uh, righteous begging for bread. Okay, so let me continue with the. Let me get in. Let me get that in uh, the book of uh, Timothy, the sixth chapter. Okay. A lot. Let's pull that up real fast. First Timothy, the sixth chapter. Uh, says, um, First Timothy six and uh, six. But godliness and content, contentment, uh, is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can carry nothing out. Okay, so some people think godliness is great gain, man. You know what I'm saying? But the scripture says that we brought nothing up in this world. And it's for sure that we're going to take nothing out of this world, man. The only thing we got in this world is, is you know what I mean? Is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shem, the things that he gives us. That's all we got. You know what I mean? This The, the scriptures and, and the, the gift that he gave us and put it into our mind that we're Israel. That's the only thing that we have that is keeping us going day to day is that faith, you know, and the Lord's grace. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know what he can do to any of us. You know what I'm saying? So we got to stay humble because, you know, you can be up one day and you can fall. And it's better It's better to, man, I mean, it's better to stay in this faith, man, all right, than, than to fall. You know what I'm saying? Because if you fall, you know, most high, he's not going to come. He's not going to pick you up, man. You're going to stay right there. You're going to stay all fall out, falling out. Okay, it says, Eight, having food and raiment, lest us be there with content. So with food and clothing, we're supposed to be happy just with that. Just content with that, with what we got. You know what I mean? But there's some people, they need it all. They need to have 
You know, they need to be better than you at work. They need to put dirt up on your name. They need to do this. They need to do this, that, and the third, or, you know, whatever they floats their boat, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. But, you know, we know that we got faith, you know what I'm saying? And and, and, and we know how by Shimei is going to come for us. If we if we stand fast in this faith, unmovable, you know, the Lord's going to, he's going to, he's going to see those who are making their calling and election sure, which is, you know, that us who are in that hopeful elect, those brothers that, and those sisters, those men, women, and children that pray, you know, wholeheartedly that, that, and follow the commandments that you know that we are the elect you know and Lord willing we be those we be those those saints of the most high but uh, let's go back to 1 Timothy 6 and 9 it says but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition you know so some people they worried about money all the time they hustling at work to be the fastest worker putting dirt on people's names, coming home and working, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jobs. And they got all kinds of little side hustles, all kinds of things they do. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't doing it, you're lazy. Especially if you're Iskarite, you know what I'm saying? If you're from, man, you know, you got them, they, they just want to do like all types of side jobs and all kinds of stuff. They want to drag you along. Like, you know what? I'm happy with what I, what I got. I don't need all of that. But let's go into the 10th verse. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. So, you know, when you covet after that money or whatnot, some people err from the faith. They, they lose faith because they, 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 they're full. You know, Scripture says, um, Own to you who are full now, for, you know, later you shall, you shall, you shall hunger, and you shall thirst, and, you know. So, you know, man, be happy with what you got. It says, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and pierce themselves through with many sorrows, okay, many sorrows, okay. They pierce themselves with. I mean, they was they was they was just caught up and just uh, you know pierced through with just many sorrows, many different things that money just it'll drown. It'll drown. You'll drown in that. You'll you'll be so caught up in the money thing that you'll just be like. You'll just perish, man. You have everything at your fingertips. What else could you need? You know, but to but but to be destroyed by the Most High for for being ungodly, money is money can make you really ungodly, man. If you, if you don't got a handle on that, you know most people can. You know we're we're not supposed to we're not here to be get rich and die trying. You know, it's not what we're here for. But I got another scripture. This is Philippians four eleven and two uh, eleven and. And 12, it says, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am there would to be content. I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. All right. So this is Paul speaking, man. He's saying that uh, he learned to whatever state he was in to be. To be, uh, to be, you know, he could, uh, he could adapt to what he was in, whether it was good living or whether it was poor living. You know, he knew how to be, and you gotta, be, you gotta adapt in this truth. You gotta understand that, you know, what I'm saying you're, you're gonna have good times, you're gonna have bad times, or whatnot. But have faith in you. How about Shemiel you Shai? Know, everything's gonna be all right, and you're gonna make it out of that situation, especially if it's monetarily. That's kind of what I was aiming to get at. But this, you know, not only that, but also into the spirit, because people are lacking for the things that they they gain on this side. Of that, uh, a salaka, that side of, of of not being in the truth and not having this this faith, they lack. You know, they lack in 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 faith and understanding and in wisdom. You know, what I'm saying they're they're totally naked, according to the scriptures in the Book of Revelations. Know ye not that ye are naked? You know, what I'm saying when the house shy comes back and they don't have this truth, man, it's off with their head, man. You know, what I'm saying it's it's a rap. That's all she wrote. You know what I mean? Because they 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 don't you know. The first, the most, I don't want them. Second of all, they, they, they choose not to follow. They choose not to hear, you know what I'm saying? But definitely it's the Lord's plan. And if it's like that, then so be it. But, you know, Paul says, I know both how to be a base and I know how to abound everywhere in all things. He knows how to be a base, a base, and he knows how to abound, you know, in all, in all things, you know. It says, everywhere in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Okay? So... You know, Paul, Paul was, you know, Paul said he was all men to all things. So even he knew how to speak to people. He knew how to, how to get to them. He knew that, you know, how, how, he knew how to, how to pull men in. He was a fisher. You know, he knew how to speak. He was, 
he was real smart, you know, and, and he was he was a Pharisee and he was wise in the scriptures, but even he knew, hey man, you know, I'm not always gonna have it good. You know, some days I will, some days I won't. You know what I'm saying? But but you know, we know that we never lose faith. All right. And we know that we're getting paid to these scriptures, man. These scriptures are really to set us up in, in righteousness, you know, and correct our paths. All right. But let me go ahead and get you, uh, Micah, uh, what is that? 2 and 10. It says, uh, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. You know, so I, I, the spirit, the spirit. Um, when I did this lesson, it brought this up because you know you're supposed to, you're supposed to not want to be here. You're not supposed to want to try to make it in this place. All right, we know that this place. The scripture says the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. The earth is defiled. The water is defiled. You know what I'm saying? The air is defiled. The food is defiled. Okay, the laws are all jacked up. You know what I'm saying? They're not meant for our people. They're not meant to set us up. Okay, they're sent. To, we're still in captivity. We're still. We're still the slaves that we were many years ago, okay? Uh, and we're still slaves now, okay? From generations, I mean, we were all messed up, okay? You know what I'm saying? So we're not supposed to try to, as scripture say, arise and depart for this is not your rest, okay? Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. You know, the money money destroys you, man. These people, uh, you know, the music and the, and, the, and the movies and everything has this image of just get money, get money, get money, get money to the fact we're like, man... All right, so now you got money. Now what? You know what I'm saying? You see some of them cats on TV or whatever. Them cats is straight lame, man. They're, they don't know what time it is. You know, they act like they got game. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're really, you know, what are they, man? They're just like, they're empty vessels, man. You know what I'm saying? They're just fitted for, for, for her destruction because they don't have this wisdom. They don't have this knowledge. They don't have, you know what I'm saying, that um, uh, this understanding of of, of of what the scripture is talking about, what 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 really is going down in in the uh, in the in the heavenly Father's plan. I mean, even we don't understand, but we have like the scriptures to help us. You know what I mean? We get deep into the knowledge and see the mysteries and, and what we are lacking in the world. It's been given to us, you know, now through the Spirit. We 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 understand the prophecies and certain things, you know. But, but uh, you know, some people, they don't, they don't care for that. So, you know, so be it. It's not for them. But like I said, uh, I just wanted to bring this, this uh, lesson out, you know, on, um, you know, things that we receive, you know, mater materialistic things, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, a, we don't receive, um, like if a dude dances or raps good or, or, or whatever talent a dude has or money or whatever, whatnot.